topic. All right, next up, Browns and Bengals. And this actually could be a really good game. And I, I know, Hefe, you have your uh, your power rankings just came out, and the Bengals are at the bottom, but Burrow is playing well. Um, the, Engel, uh, the Bengals, especially like in the first quarter against the Colts, they show that they are that unpredictable team that can do a lot of damage very quickly, unexpectedly, somehow circumventing the game plan. I don't know what the hell happened. Um, and this is an interconference game. Mayfield still hurt, but I, I think the the Browns look to bounce back from that soul crushing defeat from last week, and you know, kind of pull their identity back together and improve to five and two. Yeah, this is Battle of Ohio Part Two. The first game, Cleveland won thirty five thirty. I think Cincinnati can make a game of this if Joe Mixon is playing. They looked great starting out last week against the Colts, but ultimately, I think Cleveland's going to win. They're favored by three and a half. So I'm going, but I'm going to go on a limb and say Cincinnati covers that three and a half. So it's going to be a really close game. Yeah, I think it'll be somewhat close too. I think it'll look a lot like the first game with these teams. The Browns have had a few more weeks to get comfortable with the system, but now they're kind of dealing with some injuries. You know, a couple guys with some rib things. Um, but hopefully, they can get right and come out and uh, put it on them. I, I have the the Browns winning this one. They should definitely win. And, and you know, before the season, I had the Bengals going zero and sixteen, and we know how how hard it is to actually go 0-16. You usually win a game somewhere, and I tried to give them one. But as good as Joe Burrow is, the team around him just as a whole is just so bad that they were the one team that I had to put at 0-16. And and it's just like no matter what Joe Burrow is able to do in in T. Higgins and Tyler Boyd, no matter what they do, the defense is going to give up the lead and it's going to fail them in the end. Uh, So I got to go against them here. Yeah. I, I couldn't I couldn't agree anymore, and that's what we saw with Indianapolis. I mean, they got up, and you would think they would have been able to protect the twenty one point lead, but but I knew I knew at twenty one to zero that that wasn't going to hold, I, you know, and uh, that's exactly what we saw. So I, I agree with you. 